You're tuned in to Ask the Master Auto Technician. Car questions? Get answers right now. Call 850-763-0555. James Auto Center. We fix it right. Guaranteed. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to Ask the Master Auto Technician. Jack's been here, and I'm going to answer his question real quick. Jack, I did some research on this, uh, and there is a technical service bulletin for reprogramming for harsh downshifts, but they also want to make sure you check for codes in there first, but there are some upshift. There is some programming for it. If you'll stop by James Auto Center next week, I'll grab a scanner. I'll go plug it in. I'll walk back. I'll tell you if that, if that update will fix your car or not. won't cost you anything but 15 minutes of your time. Does that sound all right to you, Jack? Yes, sir. Sounds good. Where are you located? I'm right across from Rosenwald High School on 11th Street. 11th, on 11th Street. 11th and Bay Avenue. Okay. And you can find us. And what I'll do is I'll grab the factory scanner, get the information, go look to the factory website. It'll say, is there a reprogramming? Yes or no. If there's no reprogramming, we won't go any further on that. But then, like I said, I'll just check your fluid, take a look at it, see if there's any bubbles in it or anything like that. Okay. It may have the wrong fluid in it as well, too. I will tell you that. If, make sure you don't have any bubbles in it. If you're getting bubbles okay. in it when it gets hot, it's the wrong fluid in there. Okay. Okay. Now, how's, how's the easiest? I'm on, out on the beach. How's the easiest to get to your place? Best place, just go over the bridge there like you're heading towards the mall. When you get down to Highway 77, take a right. Go down to 11th Street and take a left on the next light. Okay. All, All right, right, sir. Thank you for calling, sir. All right. Thank you. All right. I got Bill Willisfer. Am I saying that correctly, Bill? Uh, good morning, Bill Wilsifer. Well, I'm make, Wilsifer, I'm making sure I can say that right. You are running against Pam Bondi for state attorney, uh, for, excuse me, state attorney general over here. Uh, why should people, and a lot of people have no idea about the Libertarian Party, why should people even vote for the Libertarians out there instead of the status quo of the Republicans and Democrats? That's one of the, that's one of the biggest questions people ask me. Why should I waste, quote, they say, waste my vote? And I said, you're not wasting your vote. You're voting for, you're voting principle. You're voting for, and not party, we're voting for principle. What, what, do you have a good re explanation for them why they should vote for you uh, or any libertarian candidate out there? Yeah, I, I do, James, and uh, thanks for having me on your show. Thank you. Um, and once my phone's breaking up a bit. Does that sound all right? Yes, okay. Sir. okay, there you go. Thank you. Well, we, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, the lesser of two evils. It's, it's the, the old definition of insanity. Keep doing the same thing and expect different results. But evil is the, evil no matter what you vote for. <laughs> right. And I believe with libertarian candidates, you're going to have, when you have two libertarian candidates in a primary, you're going to have the lesser, yes. you're going to have a hard time picking one because they're both going to look good. And it's both, not going to be the lesser two evils, and it never should be. It never should be, but that's what was going on. Uh, yes, and that's one of the reasons, that's what we've been doing the Republican and Democratic parties, picking the lesser of two evils. And I know that the platform of the Libertarian Party is smaller constitutional government. Uh, it's also where we want to get into office and leave you alone. And that's one of the things that I see that our Attorney General right now, Pam Bondi, Right now, she's fighting her best to keep off the uh, medicinal marijuana off the ballot. They have over a million signatures, I understand, to put it on the ballot, and she's trying her best not to allow it to come on because it kind of disrupts the status quo out there. I mean, think of all the people they wouldn't be able to put in jail anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and <clears throat> there was a lady down in South Florida not long ago, about a year or so ago, that used uh, marijuana for her problems. Uh, medical problems, and uh, they ended up, she actually put a bill in, did she not? And then she, they ended up busting her and going to her house and arresting her yeah. and doing all that. A sick lady, a very sick lady who has cancer. And this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a very corrupt people that are in power right now, it seems like. And I, that's why I'm supporting you in the Libertarian Party. And, and I'd like to see industrial hemp actually made legal in America too. But they made it illegal since 19, what, 32, 33, and, and we can't even grow industrial hemp, which is a great, matter of fact, Henry Ford made the first, he made a car using industrial hemp. He, the, uh, the interior was made out of industrial hemp. The plastics were made out of industrial hemp. All this was made, even the fuel was made from industrial hemp, but they don't do it anymore. What is your viewpoint on getting industrial hemp back into, in, into Florida like it used to be before World War II? What? Right. Really, and, and, and during World War II, because right. during World War II, uh, hemp was promoted and, uh, and yes. legalized. It was, and now <laughs> they don't do it anymore. Right, right, because when, when uh, we really got down to a survival tactics, we resorted to what made sense, and that was, that was industrial hemp. Mm -hmm. the, the examples you gave, and there's many more, the, uh, 
Uh, the flags that sail the ships to this country are believed to be made from uh, from hemp. Yeah, are you heard our, our Constitution written yes, on hemp. Our Constitution was made <laughs> was written on <laughs> hemp paper. I'm going, and I have people go, "Oh, James, you only want to do it right. people can get high." No, believe it or not, medical marijuana, not not smoked, but actually the cannabis oil itself is actually used to treat cancer successfully. It's documented. There's medical documentation that's actually uh, stopped and operable brain cancers in children it also stop seizures as many one child is having 300 seizures a, a month or 300 seizures a week i think I, I mean, it's terrible Re referring to a strain of cannabis that they refer to on the on the retail market as charlotte's web mm -hmm. is is proven to uh, control uh epilepsy seizures in children and uh we have, I believe, a bipartisan bill coming forward in this 2014 legislative session mm -hmm. that will ask to legalize uh, that strain of cannabis, right. uh, as well as the uh, Kathy Jordan Medical Cannabis Act, I believe, is going to be reintroduced. The that, one you referred to before right, that, that was, was lady, arrested. Yes, that was the lady yeah. was arrested, the sick lady that was arrested. It, right, the Kathy same, Jordan yes. has uh, uh, ALS. And um, I wrote that bill, James. I, um, I wrote the Kathy Jordan Medical Cannabis Act, and I did that back in 2012. Because I thought Florida could do better. I saw I saw the other states were were um, you know not not falling to the federal overreach and saying you can't use this in your state, but saying no in our state we can. And I said Florida can do this as well. So I wrote that bill, and um, and uh, Mrs. Jordan was uh, graciously allowed us to put her name on it and to uh, advocate for it. Mm -hmm. and unfortunately, uh, shortly after Senator Clements filed it, uh, she uh, got arrested under yes. uh, sort of a swap team approach. And it almost uh, makes you wonder, like, you know, why do these people do this? I mean, <laughs> you know, we had Barbara and Kenneth Jinks in here a few years ago that uh, both of them had uh, uh, HIV uh, from blood transfusions, and they got caught growing marijuana to for, to, for the for the nausea to, to counteract the chemotherapy. They were uh, our first case. They were found guilty, but they were sentenced to take care of each other, and just a year or two after they were found guilty, of course, they died from the disease. This was back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it's 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 amazing that people just refuse to, to open their eyes that there's there maybe powers to be out there behind the scenes that help control the money that's, that's making Pam Bondi do what she's doing because they don't want to see their status quo or someone rock the boat, so to speak. And right. I'll, open your eyes is a, is a great analogy. I, I think Attorney General Bondi is, uh, and, and both the Democrats and Republicans have turned medical cannabis into a political football. Yes, they have. And it, it's really, it's really about about healing. It's between the physician and the patient. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if we trust our Florida licensed physicians to do the right thing, then then they will. Uh, otherwise, we need to address. You know, we have candidates down here. We they were talking to a legislator down there. Oh, not on my watch will there be legal marijuana for you know medical. I'm sitting there going, wait till you have someone who's sick. Wait till you have someone wasting away, and you say that to them in their face, and 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 you could have made a difference in their lives. I mean, it's the most, it's the craziest hypocrisy I've ever seen. More people die from prescription drugs daily. 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 Yeah. I don't know of anyone that's ever died from marijuana overdose, uh, you know, I don't think it's ever been documented that he, I, 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 don't, I don't believe it has. The only thing they're going to end up doing is they're going to raid the refrigerator, I think. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, funny you say that because there is a, a strain of marijuana that has been legal for some time in Florida. That's called Marinol. Marinol, that, the, yes. Yeah, it's in a pill form, and, that, and that's to help with uh, uh, bulimia and people with a uh, uh, eating disorders, and that's because yes, that's because they were able to synthesize it into a, uh, a, a into a pill. The pharmaceuticals got in there. I think. There you go. I think if we could take care of ourselves like we did once upon a time, you know, you know, just take care of ourselves where we don't have to be so dependent on the uh, big pharma, we could actually make a difference. But right now, is we do exactly what they tell us to do. Uh, we put people in office that vote their way. They allow them to pass laws to make it illegal for us to. Well, every time I turn around, they're trying to make a law where you can't buy certain herbs at the health food store. Every yeah. time I, I mean, and the, and the attorney general is behind that as well. She doesn't like the idea that people are taking care of responsibility of their own self, and that's what the Libertarian Party is about: being responsible for yourself. Don't make the government be responsible for you. And I think we've just turned into a, an entitlement society right now. Everybody wants the nanny government to take care of us. 
Uh, not everybody, but it seems like a lot of people do, and they have no intention of changing it. And I know you, as state attorney, you attorney I, general. Attorney, excuse me, state attorney general. Your job is to get into office and leave people alone. Is that what? You, is that one of the things you like to do? <laughs> kind of unregulate every time. I mean, every time I turn around, we're being regulated. Right now, they're trying to pass laws to make it illegal for you to take your child to a park and, and smoke a cigarette in an outside park. Uh, you know, right. it, it, it made it already illegal to smoke in a car if you have a child in it. And now well, the, same, the same representative that uh, brought forth the uh, Kathy Jordan bill, yes, and I believe we'll reintroduce it this year, has also brought forth the uh, no smoking cigarettes in the park bill. <laughs> so um, that, that's fine. You know, everyone has, has different opinions in different places, and that's really what libertarian is about. So I, you know, I'm not an advocate for, for, for pot smoking and industrial hemp, I think, is a good economic yes. idea. You know, I, I also support uh, open carry and uh, marriage equality, but but not for those lifestyles or for the uh, for the personal choices. But because I read the Constitution to allow mm -hmm. the liberty for the individual to make those decisions without the government uh, uh, directive. That's important. People need to make, be, be responsible for their own actions. I'm listening to the book Atlas Shrugs again, and, mm -hmm. and it's the most amazing thing. That book was written, what, back in the 30s? And we've, we've done this. We've turned into where the looters are taking, if people who are productive, they take away your incentive to be productive. Uh, and it's one of the things I'm seeing that the Libertarian Party says, look, we want you to be productive. We want you to make your own way. We don't want to pick winners and losers. Right. And I think that's what we're seeing happening right now. Everybody, the government seems to pick winners and losers. And uh, what were you going to say, Anna? I was going to say my hope is that the Libertarian Party will generate enough interest that the state of Florida will stand up to the federal government and say no. Yes, that's exactly right. Right. And the attorney general under uh, Section 16.52 has a duty to stand up to the federal government when they're, when they're overreaching uh, into our state's rights. Right. Of course, we know how states. what happened to states' rights in 1865 <laughs> or 1861. We know all about that. But it, the thing is, states' right. we've had Colorado and Washington. They passed laws, and people are going, wow, I can't believe it. But there's, what, 16 or 17 other states that have passed other forms of legalization of that. And uh, I think Florida is going to be one of the few states that are going to be joining them very, very soon if we can get uh, the state attorney not to be fighting the uh, ballot initiative that's trying to be put on there in the 2014, this year's ballot. Uh, it's, it is amazing. Now, if people want to know more about you, we only got about a minute left here. Where, how can they get up with you, Bill? How can they know more about oh, you? Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks. So, www.walsifer4ag.com. That's the number four. How do you spell that? How do you spell that? What's it for, please? W O H L, S like Sam, I, F like Frank, E R, the number four, A G dot com, and we're on Facebook and Twitter, and uh, and there's a lot of substance there. Uh, you know, the conversation tends to run to marijuana. That's a hot issue right now, but. You know, we talk about everything from uh, open carry to amnesty to public Absolutely. policy. Absolutely. States' rights is the most important thing. I know we talk about that and following the Constitution. Bill, I, you're welcome to call any time that we have on Saturday show. we got to go to a break. Thank you for calling. Hope to hear from you next week. Thanks Thank for calling. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye-bye now. James Otto Center. We fix it right. Guaranteed. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah.